Previously on Outbreak on Dead. And walking out ah! from around the car is a clown zombie. Why does Again. everyone grab my ankles, dog? They did have a trained bear. Yeah, I wanna I wanna check on the bear. <laughs> what the <laughs> Help me, we gotta save Barry! I'm like, you want you wanna come come along with us, Bear? Guys, I don't know where to drive. Where where do we go? Gun store. So we make it to the front of the uh, the gun store here. Top left is a fat zombie. Is that a kid zombie? Uh, yeah, that's a that's a kid zombie down there. Aww. Yeah, doing my friends, Joe and Char here, and we are back at it again with episode three now of Outbreak Undead. Yes, we are finding out if myself and my friends can survive the zombie apocalypse in Las Vegas, all while playing the tabletop RPG game. Outbreak Undead. Now what this is, it's a zombie apocalypse simulator of sorts, but you can also do any kind of apocalypse, but more importantly, you can take a test and put yourself in the game, and that's exactly what we did. So before we jump into what happens next in this story, I do want to say that if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, because if you like this video, you're going to like all the other videos that we do here on the channel. We're doing a lot more tabletop stuff. And now that we have all of that taken care of, just to remind our viewers where we are right now, we're in front of the gun store, we've got a few zombies zombies around we're nice and safe in the car we're probably gonna have to get out and as we look at the gun stores like doors it seems like the barricade there is like has <laughs> not been brought all the way in the barricade great um <laughs> the, <laughs> the barricade so like you know when you're closing down shop you bring down the metal barricade uh, it has not been brought down all the way in front of the gun shop. It looks like we could crawl <laughs> under. But also it looks like a job for a bear, potentially. Dude, Mario has a lot of experience in this. Remember back in the day when we would get our cars locked in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, oh, that's we right. Have Mario climb under the thing. <laughs> Mario, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We would get to the office too late. The, the gate would be down, so we would all have to lift the gate up. So that Mari can crawl under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th it those was... are always our Ocean's Eleven moments at Defy Media. Cool. We're in the car. We see some zombies uh, rambling about. Rambling? Uh, rambling. They're, they're rambling. talking? Hey, yeah, they're how you doing yeah. today? I mean, hey, 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 the garages, hey. Ambling, yeah. Ambling is the They're ambling, word. shambling, and rambling. Shambling would have also Shambling worked. also, yep. Mari, you're holding my baton while I'm driving. Uh, phrasing? Oh, I have this flashlight, the, and a flashlight that I can hand to someone. I have Bangy. Laser Corn has a flashlight and Bangy. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask, and I, I mean, I was doing this in character. Does anyone want the flashlight? I'll take it. I toss so Hinky the flashlight. I have the nightstick. I'm like, I don't have any weapons. I don't have any weapons. There's zombies here. What do we do? I would like to get out, and I'll take aim at that one in the upper left. Okay. With Bangy. All right, so you come out of the car, and you're going to take a shot at uh, the large zombie. Uh huh. Uh, at, uh, at our 11 o'clock. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out of the back with uh, Barry. You can't open the trunk from the inside, so you have to come around the car, okay. and then open the trunk from behind. Yeah, I'll open it for Barry. I've got Beady the nightstick. I'm I'm gonna go out of the car. So you're gonna out of the car. You got a zombie pretty close to you as you exit the car. Yeah, because we need to get into that front. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll, I'll engage with Nasty. Mari, I'm gonna have you roll three d6. Laser Corn, you roll three d6 as well. Three, a two, and a five, so ten total. I've got a total uh, of 13. Oh, he's lucky, Mario. All right, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> oh. Wow. Yeah, so the zombie that was um, uh, closest to Mari had Nasty. two exploding dice. So it actually rolled a... Uh, what did you roll, Mari? 13. All right, it rolled a 14. So it had two exploding dice and still just barely made it over you. So you will be able to get your attack off before it can grab you. Yes. Um, laser corn. Uh, the zombie has moved a little bit closer to you. Feel the wrath of Bangy. Yeah. Uh, let's start with laser corn first. Go ahead and uh, shoot that zombie. I just I just thought of a really bad joke. You want, you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why does Rick? Why is Rick? from The Walking Dead passionate about the ocean because of all the coral he he wants to say he wants to save the coral reefs <laughs> all right uh lazy corn you're taking a shot at the zombie yeah. um i'm give you got a uh, you have to be a 31 right now okay 17 17 oh sweet yeah i'm i'm going to give you uh 2 degrees of success on that one roll 2d6 for me a three and a two, five total. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a dead zombie. Boom. Nice. Woo! 
Headshot, baby! You're getting pretty so, good with that bangy. Yeah, yeah bangy. so bangy, uh, do you want to describe the shot? Or do you say anything special? I say, come on, bangy, you're my boy! <laughs> and then I blast his head off. <laughs> nice. And there's the <laughs> zombie. <laughs> Uh, all right, Mari, now we're, we're going to try to do this bashy attack. I have Beady, the night stick. Oh, Beady. Okay, you've got Beady. Sorry, yeah. I confused my Beady and Bashy. Never again. I want to whack it a across the head to crack the skull. Okay. You can um, with the night stick, you know. Yeah, you can. All right, uh, you have a melee attack. Go ahead and uh, give me a melee attack roll. What do we have to... Yeah, you know. 47. What is your, what is your strength? 32. If you would like... You can spend 15 of your Gestalt points to bring that all the way down to a success. Oh, hell yeah. I don't need my Gestalt. All right. So are you bringing your Gestalt down to... Uh... If, who needs that? I mean, right. Geralt? Your Gestalt is now going down to 20. <laughs> and that is one successful attack um, with a blunt object. Go ahead and uh, roll 1d6 for me. It is a 5. Ah, oh, five! That'll do it! You nice. bash him right in the nice. head. Yes. I, was, I was giving you a kill on a five or six. You did it. And now I would like to talk to Barry and I'd say, Barry, go murder that child. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you, you told it to do that, and it's like walking your way, but it's not close enough to be a threat, so the bear doesn't do anything yet. <laughs> so this child zombie is just kind of like, because uh, there was a big bang that just went off from yeah. that gunshot. So the zombie is, that kid zombie's now shambling. His steps are smaller than... Uh, his, his steps are... Sm <laughs> <laughs> his steps are smaller. So he's he's shambling a little slowly. So are are you guys running for the main door? Yes. yes. I want Barry to murder him. Player knowledge, the bear attacks like when it it feels like you're in danger or someone is in danger. Okay. It doesn't see an immediate sense of danger. I'll yet. run for the door and hope the bear follows me. All right, everyone roll uh 3d6. 3d6. Uh, One, two, three. 8. I got 14. All right, you're here. Bear is with you. Uh, zombies about here, and it's ah, uh, now now the bear is looking like uh, sees like this bear this zombie's a little bit more aggressive. Mm. But I'm not in danger though necessarily. No. So we're gonna do another speed roll here. We're gonna do another ten. Are we all still running towards the door? Correct. Yes. Yeah, for me anyway. Uh, bear is going to be able to attack the zombie on on this particular case. Go, Barry! Murder that child! Everyone roll d uh, three d six again. I three rolled six. a ten. Twelve again. Jeez. Fifteen oh, this time. All right, zombies going last. All right, uh, uh, bear attack. Attack the uh, the child zombie. It is it is lunged forward and grabbed like the majority of the uh, the zombie's leg Yo. and stopped him from running. This bear is so op. <laughs> so he's like holding holding this zombie down. Uh, while the rest of us are able to run to the door. Is he mauling the child, though? He's not mauling. He's, he's got the, uh, he's just holding his leg. Hmm. Why does he always go for the leg? That must be a weird trick they taught him. Yeah. All right, so we, the bear's over here keeping that zombie down on the ground. We've all made it to the gate. Barry, get away from the zombie. Are we going to open the gate to try to let Mari in? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's pull the gate up. All right, so you and I are doing a lift pull. Uh, 61. What degree of failure is that? So, like, that's, like, three. Okay, and I, I, I'm a lift pull is 32, and I rolled a three. So, I'm going to say mine cancels out yours, and we're able to get it enough so that Mari can get on the ground to crawl under. Sweet. Mari, open the door for us. Here we are again, crawling, <laughs> crawling through the gate. So, Mari, as you get inside, you see, a, like, a key with a, like one of the wristband uh, stretchy things, like a uh, keychain attached to it. And it is plugged to the right of the door in a, a, in a like a little socket, like a keyhole that on it reads, right is uh, down, left is up. Okay. Would you like to uh, do anything to that key? Yeah, I, I take the key, I shove it in and I hit up. So you start turning it and, and the gate is going up, going up, and it makes it about halfway before it kind of like, uh, get stuck on something and stops. But it is uh, big enough for, for Lasercorn and myself to get but in and under. Is it also but big enough for a bear? For, for a bear. This is very important. Yes. yes. 
it. Ooh, a 22. It is. It is uh, yes. big enough for the bear to get under. Barry. So, Inky, are you going under the gate while the bear comes? Yeah, I would, I would like to wait for Barry, though. I need to make sure oh, he's okay. Oh, you'd like to wait for Barry. All right, so we're inside. Hmm. Um, so, Hinky here. All right, and then what we have next here. Oh, imagine on. little Barry just running on all fours towards the door. How cute is that with his party hat on? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a sweetheart, that Barry. That, uh, as you guys are running that way, that... Um, no, 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 no. That expl that that gunshot that you had uh, has alerted some zombies. Mm. Uh, they're now coming in this way, uh, in towards where the shot last was heard, which was right about uh, here. Uh, so Inky, you see a zombie uh, right next to you. What Damn. do you do? Do you go uh, inside? I'm waiting for Barry. <laughs> Barry's gotta be safe. We need Barry. All right. You're you're waiting for Barry. That's the name of the movie. Waiting for Barry. Uh, so Inky, roll two d6 for me. Rolling a seven. Oh, that's bad news. Uh, all right, this zombie's about to grab you, and these zombies uh, are here. Barry, help all right. me! All right, uh, and I'm rolling for the zombie to grab you. This zombie is officially grappling you. All right, I'm grappling. I don't care. I'll dump the zombie up. I don't even care. Oh, there's uh, if this zombie bites you, which is pretty <gasps> easy to happen, you what? are screwed. What? Uh, we see this happening. Um, Laser Corn, Mari, do you have any intent? Uh, well, they're grappling, so shooting at that's probably not a good idea, huh? Y yeah, I'm gonna look for a crossbow. No, no, no. I look, I look over toward Laser Corn and and I stare directly into his eyes, and I just say, "Take the shot." Take the shot! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I pull, oh, really? Uh, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I pull out Baggy. Hold on, wait. Before, before he takes the shot, could I, like, roll to grapple the zombie so I can kind of hold his head in place or something? God damn it. What? I just rolled a 99 for the zombie. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just roll my... Let me just roll my brawl real quick. I don't yeah, even know what yeah, brawl Yeah, just roll is. your brawl. Oh well, thankfully I rolled I, I rolled an eighty one, so Okay, you're able to stick his head out. Your eighty one was still pretty bad, but Lasercorn does have a clear shot. He really has to mess this up for something to go wrong. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no no. <laughs> yeah, you did kinda no. jinx it there. Now I'm worried. <laughs> Uh, okay, 70. All right, so you got a 70. Uh, what is that, four degrees of failure? Yeah, can I spend Gestalt to negate? Because I got a 99, I will say that you did not shoot so hinky. Okay. You shot and just missed completely. Damn it. <laughs> take the take take the shot again. <laughs> I, it's not my turn anymore. <laughs> um. Oh, the bear. What's the bear doing? All right. Uh, another zombie is now coming around the corner because of that gunshot. Mm. Jesus Christ. The bear gets to now uh, roll. So that's five. All right. Now the zombie's rolling to see what ha Let's see who goes first, bear or zombie. Ooh, bear. The, the bear All does right, not yeah. look like it realizes it's in any danger. <laughs> bear, <laughs> bear actually gets up to the zombie that is holding you and goes for its leg. Go ahead and uh, so Inky roll for that bite attack. 27. Oh, nice. That uh, that zombie gets pulled right off of you. Nice. Barry. Awesome. And, uh, Barry OP. Bear and and he's like dragging the zombie away from you. Uh, laser corner, are you going inside? So Inky, are you yeah, going I'm inside? Yeah, I'm going to duck back inside. No, here. we can't leave Barry behind. The zombies are ignoring Barry. Let's just get in the store. All right, uh, so Inky, RP here. Uh, RP, are you are you staying or are you yeah, going? Say, Barry, get to safety, and I duck inside as well. Uh, and you duck inside, and Mari, do you do you hit the gate? I don't, I don't want to close the gate on Barry. Uh, zombies are now getting closer to the gate. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is it going to take a shot? <laughs> take a shot! Is it? Can I? I don't know. Can I take a shot? It's not gonna be a good shot. You're shooting at disadvantage because you're going through a gate, or if you try to get on the ground to shoot up, it's 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 bad either way. Okay, I hit the gate. I hit the gate. No! And, 
as the gate goes down. It was his birthday, you bitch. (laughs) And uh, the berry just kind of sits back on his butt and looks at you and then puts his paw up and just kind of waves a little. The the zombies don't attack berry, it looks like. It doesn't look like. These zombies that you saw earlier are now just at you at the gate. So they're like shaking at the gate. So it's hard to see past the gate. Well, I mean, we can open the gate again if we need to. For yeah, I mean, let's go get some guns and then yeah, let's just Barry. get some guns and <laughs> blow all these zombies at the gate away, and then. <laughs> now, who would like to start looking around? We're in here. We hear banging behind us. Uh, what is some of the first stuff that we start to do while we're in here? I would like to peruse the goods, and it oh, says right shoot, here. On shoot. The... Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. I forgot what? the keys in the car. What? <laughs> Why would you? What? Why? Like, why would, why, literally, why would anyone do that? Well, because what if I died and you guys had to leave my body in here? Uh, and, and then, like, my, my zombie body had the keys. You'd be glad they're still in the car. Honestly, it's fine. We had to go back outside to get Barry anyway, so. Yeah. And it's not like there's food in the gun store. I don't know, is there? Oh, hey, Mari, yeah, you were wondering if you could fire a Tommy gun. It sure looks like you can. A Tommy gun! Laser corn, as you were looking around to see what you wanted to do in this candy store that you found yourself in, uh, I did rudely interrupt you and to tell you about the keys. Mm-hmm. Uh, once you've established that the keys being in the car is not that that big of a problem. Uh, would you like to? Yeah, yeah. I would like to. Uh, I would like to uh, hunt around the gun store and see if I can find. It looks like here on the website uh, they have M4s available. I feel like that would be good for killing zombies. I would like uh, to find an M4. Uh, as as you're walking around, mm-hmm. um, uh, coming from out from the other side of the. Um, you know, where the, the register would be or, like, where mm-hmm. the person would greet you at the desk there. Uh, a, a lone zombie is actually crawling on the floor and starting to get up and uh, is, is showing up as you guys walk into this building. Interesting. Well, needy. You do have a gun, so, you know. I do have bangy still. Uh, it looks like... Do I have line of sight? Uh, well, you've technically kind of walked forward here. And, uh, yeah, let's take a shot with bangy. Yeah, biggity, biggity, we bangy. Stop? What? You know, I, the audience has to be mad at how often we use a gun. Like... How what? We should... We How often we're using guns. I mean, what is, <laughs> we also used a bear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, I feel I mean, like a bear is a little bit more silent of a killer than a gun. Like to, I'm sorry, Mari, would you like to use beady? I, I, I turned to Mari. I'm like, I'm sorry. You haven't gotten to bash any zombie brains in recently. Would you like to take this one, Mari? No, you know, you do what you want. I no, no, would no. like to look. No. Uh, while you guys are talking, the zombie actually yeah. lunges out at us. I hide behind so he can use him as a meat shield. Wow. And uh, the uh, zombie grabs Why Zoinky. am I always the one getting grabbed? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I've been getting grappled this whole time. Do I have to roll? It's because you've exposed your ankles, you naughty, naughty little girl. <laughs> it is holding you. It has not been able to bite you yet, though. All right, I'll I'll, I'll come in with BD now. I'll come yeah, in with BD. Could you do anything other than argue, <laughs> argue about whether you're going to shoot it or hit it? <laughs> All right. to shoot it, and then Mari started in. <laughs> Mari using the police baton, uh, BD. It, it, you are going to take a uh, strike. Go ahead and uh, roll against that uh, that melee attack. Two d tens. It's a forty-two. So that is one degree of failure right there. Mm. Um, laser corn. Would you like to? Well, he's grappling now, right? I feel like yeah, I can't but, but, shoot. But we we pulled this move last time. I'm gonna. I want to. I want to push his head out for me, and and then and then look at laser corn. Wait, wait, hold on. I want to know what. I, what did, what did my nightstick? Did did I, did I whack him? Uh, well, I'm still seeing everyone else's intent here at the same time as, the as this shot. attack is happening. Well, I only I don't know how much ammo is left in Bangy. I'm gonna take a uh, I'm gonna switch to a pistol whip grip, okay. and I want to pistol whip this bitch in the head. All yeah, right, that's uh, pistol whip corn. Go ahead. That's a that's a blunt attack with your with your gun. I'll let you have it. It's a 33. Oh. It's Make so sure close. the safety's on. What's your uh, attack? What's my you... attack is only with blunt weapon is only 29. Damn! Uh, that's a really close deg- degree, degree of failure, though. Two degrees of failure. What? All right. Two? Well, it, so it's one and one. You both have a degree of oh, failure okay. on it. All right. Can I, is there anything I can try as bat and bash his head against? I'm going to try to help you out myself. Uh, I'm going to try to pull the zombie off of you. Oh, you mean after you shoved me in front of the zombie, now you feel bad? <laughs> now you want to pull Yes. Nope, I did nothing. <laughs> uh, 30 years of failure. All right, we can do this one of two ways. I can take your two degrees of failure and kind of put it in my hazard pool. 
and those points will kind of Shove it will up come back to haunt you <laughs> later on. <laughs> um, and I will let you have one attack, uh, one dice roll from from one of you for a kill. Um, or you guys can attack again. We can start this whole process over. And uh, and and. But, but then maybe the, the zombie, zombie gets, gets a bite. chance to bite me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. So what do you guys want to do? You want to give me those hazard points, or or do you want to uh, take that one d? Uh, explain one explain the concept of hazard points one more time. Yeah, where are so, the hazard points? So as you guys have been rolling uh, your degrees of failures, I've been keeping track of those and using those to bring different events towards you, uh, whether it be a zombie showing up or or uh, uh, an extra zombie coming out of the clown car was uh, a use of some of those points. I say we use them. We don't right. we don't want so and turning. All yeah. right, we'll use the hazard points. All right, one of you roll a d6 uh, and tell me, uh, and just let me know who's rolling. Mari, you chose to use the hazard points. You roll it up for us. Oh, sh. All right. Roll so good. It's one attack die, one it's d6. A, it's a three. It's a three. Okay, I will give you this. Uh, it did some damage. Um, it was enough to kind of like knock <sighs> it back a little bit. He's still holding on, uh, but he's not dead yet. Cool. So now I need everyone to roll two d6 for for uh, for speed. We're gonna kind of see the order that this happens here. I got a four. I got a five. Three. Total? Yeah. Yep. I got an eleven. Why am I so slow every Ooh, time? Uh, well, luckily the well actually not luckily. Uh, the zombie also rolled an eleven. So you and the zombie are moving at the same time. Lasercorn, what did you roll? Mari's moving at zombie speed. I rolled a four. <laughs> You rolled a four? Yeah. All right. I rolled uh, a five. And Zinke, you rolled a four and a five. All right. Um, so we'll start here with Lasercorn and Sohinki. Uh, the zombie's still on you. Would you guys like to uh, describe to me kind of what you want to try to do here? I want to kick it off me. Kick it in the head. Kick it off me or something. Uh, all right. Am I am you... I on the ground or am I standing? No, you're what? you're standing. You're standing. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I just wanted to try and shove him off me at least. Let's do a grapple check. Okay. Ah. Uh... Well, wow. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? I rolled a 99. Oh, oh yeah. no! Yeah. I'm, out here. I'm out of here. See you later, Oh, guys. man. Oh, my um, gosh. Well, hold on, though. Hold on. We'll take care of Barry for you. Tell Barry I love him. Your speed roll was a five. Lasercorn rolled under you, so Lasercorn's going to go mm, first. Oh, okay, right. it looks like on the map here I'm a little bit away from him. I want to run up and try and, like, punt his head clean off. You're going for a punt? You you want to well, jump kick him? What, what if you just ran up and shot him point blank in the face, huh? <laughs> you know, I kind of like the... We don't even like, know that I have shots left. I was unable to check the bullets in my gun. You only fired, like, three times. All right, well, it's, so Hinky's saying he wants me to shoot him. Okay, so I go for a clean shot, and I try to shoot this zombie. Point blank. Point blank. I want to blow this zombie's head off. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll those... Roll uh, uh, two D100s. You're, you're doing an attack here. 60. <sighs> kind of point blank. Uh, give me one more because I'm going to give you advantage here. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> DM's really trying to help me. <laughs> but I am laser corn and we know how I roll. Well, not as bad uh, as 90. Yeah, you roll ones. You roll low. 74. All right. Now, laser corn, you never, in, up in this series so far, you have not yet used your gestalt points. No, I haven't. That's true. I tried to spend some earlier. You wouldn't let me. Yeah, you have 35 in total. Mm -hmm. I will let you spend 30 of them to get this attack down to where it then needs to be Then only have five it. left. That's a you, lot you of You will only Geralt. have five left. But it's either that or Sohinki's 99 is going to take effect. Uh, all right. I'll spend all my gestalt to save Sohinki. Go ahead and you'll roll 2d6 for your, for your little Beretta here. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't want two ones. If you get two ones, this Snake also eyes. will be really bad for, for so inky. Nope. Eleven. Damn. Oh. Oh! Oh! What'd you roll? A five six and a five? six? Yeah. Well, first of all, that six explodes, and then oh, you get to re-roll that die. The six is a five. Yeah, it's that's a dead zombie. That's a, <gasps> that is a dead zombie. Oh, yeah. I'm giving myself another point in, uh, in firearms. Okay, I'll, 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 you, you've been giving uh, me for points. pistols. Yeah, for pistol. You've been giving me points for every zombie I kill. I need laser corn and Sohinki to roll a. Do we do endure a composure? Let's do a composure roll. Well, I rolled a fifteen. Dang. Uh, Sohinki, what did you roll? I rolled a thirty-eight. 
So I missed by one point. All right, so in that case, the, uh, the gunshot just went off next to Sohinki's face. <laughs> um, Lasercorn <laughs> and Sohinki, you guys are having some hearing loss problems right Oof. now. What? But yeah. I rolled a 15. <laughs> oh, you rolled a 15. Yeah, I rolled good. All right, you are yeah, fine. Sense. I would, I would lose yeah. some hearing. Yeah, yeah, you were. Uh, so he, you were. It's right next to my face. So he has tinnitus. He's got tinnitus now. Ah, my tinnitus. Archer reference. Anyone? Well, mop. And the zombie is dead. Nice. Uh, with that, uh, with that bang, the three of us, Sans Sohinki, uh, hear from the side uh, door. There's like a little, uh, like the manager's office. Draw you the hear, door. Draw it. <laughs> he hates so much when he has to draw anything, but this was his idea. <laughs> door right here, and it's uh, behind the long desk. That's a big That's desk. That's a curvy desk. Yeah, it Why is, is the it desk curvy? Oh. From the manager's door over here, you hear someone uh, on the other side. Uh, well, so Inky, you don't hear any of this. Item's just um, like, thanks for saving me. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You hear, hey, who's out there? Who's touching my guns? Oh, there's someone alive in there. There's so, there hey, there's somebody in here, and it sounds like a person, not a zombie. What are you guys saying? Have you been bit? Are you, are you one of them? No, we're we've we've none of us have been bit, and we brought you a bear. We just need to borrow some guns to go get the zombies off our bear, and then there's a. There's a bear out there? Yeah, well, we haven't brought you a bear, but we have a bear with us, and he's really good at, like, taking out zombies. Like, is he, like, a, a, like a really big hairy dude that, that like, is into... No, no, not that kind of bear. No, no, uh, no, 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 like an actual, beats. an actual real bear. Like, uh, oh. like, like what Winnie the Pooh is. Who are you guys talking to? How, how many of you are there? There's four of us. Our friend is deaf. Plus a bear. Plus a bear, yeah, but he's outside. Four, one deaf guy and a bear who's outside. Yeah, uh, I don't believe any of you guys, you're not getting me out of this room. Uh-uh, not today. Huh, let me ask you a question, Joven, because cause he's locked in there behind the door, but the wall says guns on it as if there are still guns there. Yes, there are guns on display. Cool. Um, is there an Uzi? We will get to those questions in a little bit. I'm just saying it's the uh, gun of my people, and so I want it. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout to the guy. Hey, you go ahead and stay in there, man. It's cool. Uh, we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna borrow some of your guns. What? No, don't touch my guns. That costs money. Mm. Yeah, um, he might have a gun in there, guys. We, we probably don't want to piss him off too much. I mean, we have a gun out here. I mean, not that I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd like to persuade this guy to come out. I'm gonna use my empathy, because I, I got empathy powers. I feel like you shouldn't have to roll that hard, because it's 2020, and he should just be proud of himself. <laughs> <laughs> roll your persuasion check. Pursue Asian. It's a 26. Dang, it's a 26. Son. Pursue Asian. I like how she pronounces it, pursue Asians. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, the, so the guy's inside. All right, here's what here's what happens. The guy's like, I'm, I'm not coming out there, but if there's only four of you, if you do me a favor, if you clear Get out some of these zombies and you make it safe for me so I can like come out and feel safe, uh, I'll let you guys take a gun each. I'm not worried about you like stealing too much here. It's like you don't. You're not going to be able to carry out everything that I have here. I've got a lot of weaponry here, so it's not a big deal. I don't want to say this out loud. Can I have an inner monologue, though? Yes. My inner monologue <laughs> says, well, we can ca carry out whatever we want if we shoot this guy. Mm. Um, mm. And, and from I the door, out loud, that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> well, leave it to Laser Gordon to think of something shifty to do in a gun store. But we're going to have to wait till next week to find out what that shifty thing is. That's right. We've got the last episode of Outbreak Undead coming to you next week. So, yes, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Sign up for notifications. Do all the things you know how to do. Because guess what? We're about to end this Outbreak Undead series, and I don't want you to miss this ending. It's a big one! Plus, the other stuff that's coming at the end of the month, well, you're really going to enjoy that. I guarantee it. So, till the next time, we'll see you later! Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you need some more Jovenshire in your life, we have two videos there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe, because if you like this video, I guarantee you're going to like the other stuff that we do here. And if you get a chance, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, because we create a lot of content there that doesn't always make it to YouTube. Go check it out.